Hey Bob, it's me today. I want to uh, talk about something a little bit different today, and uh, after the intro, I'm going to tell you what it is. I don't know why I said after the intro, because mostly you clicked on this video for some reason, I don't know what gave it away, the title, the thumbnail, whatever. But let's just get right into this, and the topic for this video is... Are video games just supposed to be unfair? That's just kind of the question that we're kind of raising here, because it's just something to think about. Because the two examples I'm going to be giving you are is Mineplex Super Smash Mobs, which is a uh, Minecraft, and Fortnite. So <laughs> both these games are unfair. More specifically, Fortnite is a video game that is thankfully based off of luck, essentially, with little skill. There's some skill. There's some skill, right? And Minecraft, or Mineplex Super Smash Mobs, is a game I've been playing for years. And I've seen all the phases of all the balancing they've done in that game, but generally, is it just bound to be unfair? Like, are video games in general, I'm talking about every video game in general here, are they just supposed to be unfair? Because when you really think about it, if a game is fair, you don't want to play it. Because if it's unfair, you want to work your way up to winning it. For example, Fortnite. It's almost impossible to win now. You have tryhards building a castle. You just want to kill them. You just want to have a simple shooting battle. No shotgun double. No, you have to learn how to build. Literally, the percentage of you winning, or like if you just join the game right now, you have like a zero percent chance of winning. You actually have a zero percent chance. I think it actually is zero because of how impossible it is to win. But that good thing, that thing, with Super Smash Mobs, there is a 25 percent chance of you winning because there's only four people. That's only a default. I kind of have like this thing where like uh, I know percentages of that game because I've seen it all. Basically, you have a 25% winning if you just join the game. If you just join that, you have a 25% chance. That's the default. But if you count player skills and all kind of stuff, the, the percentage drops. But I think you think is it a good thing though? That's my question to you. Comment down below. I know you won't. This is just a weird question I've been thinking about for the past couple days now because. Usually with games that are unfair, there are people better than you. There are always going to be someone better than you. And that's kind of a harsh thing to think to a child. That there's someone, because your parents always say, Oh, you know, you're special, you're the best of the best, no one's better than you. Everyone's equal, that's a lie. There's someone better than you. That's a lie. Your parents are lying, so am I. My, every, every parent lies. Because that's not true at all. There's always some, someone above you that's going to be better than you. You just can, even if you are the best, Eventually someone's gonna be on top of you again, and it's just that's basically how these unfair games go And I think that's what video games do nowadays I think companies figure that out because if you if the game was fair You wouldn't want to play it that much because you always because the game is always balanced You wouldn't have You know these advantages unfair games have unfair advantages to everyone Like in Fortnite you have a shotgun that two that one sh shot someone now, not not everyone can get that shotgun. It's all based off of luck if you get it. You basically win the game, and I've gotten that those golden pump shotguns that do over 200 damage with a headshot, and I managed to get like 10 kills with it. It's unfair. It's actually unfair. But these unfair advantages keep us interested because if we lose all the time, we want to play more of it. And that's what I experienced with Super Smash Mobs. I get really pissed off because I lose all the time, and I used to be playing and playing and playing and find that right lobby where you can just win. The, play the people aren't too sweaty and try hardy and they're not too noobish. They're just at the right level where you can have a good fight with them. You can have an equal chance of winning. That is what I want in that game, but it's coming very, very slim because Mineplex is dying. Minecraft is losing popularity and people who play Mineplex are losing interest in it. Even though they kind of did like a renaissance. They rebuild the old lobby. I think it's gonna die out sooner or later. But with Super Smash Mobs, you just wanna keep playing the game. Because that's how unfair the game is. Because every single class in that game is unfair and can counter someone else's abilities. Now, basically, the ones that I've seen that I'm in trouble with are the Skeleton Horse and the Creeper. Now, the Creeper, if you don't play Minecraft, it can explode. That's what it does in the game. But, as a charge up, more projectiles you shoot at it, the bigger the explosion. Now my ability is a blaze. 
I can shoot fire at it. That counts as projectiles. So, the more I shoot into that, the more damage he takes. I don't think he has a damage reduction, so I'm not actually hurting it, Creeper. It's a risk. It's unfair for the Creeper, but it's also unfair for me. Because the more I put into it, the bigger explosion, the bigger radius it has, and the more I get thrown back. And now all the game is just being knocked back, it's like a sumo wrestling. And the skeleton horse has the ability where it can bone rush you and kill you. You can't do anything about it. If you're flying in midair, jumping in midair over uh, the void, you're gonna get thrown down into it. It's like a tornado. And that's not fair. Well, every kit's unfair in Super Smash Bobs. And I wonder why I keep playing this. Because it's, it's addicting. It is addicting to play. Let me put it this, this way. If a game was easy to play, and you won a lot, and there was no real obstacles or challenges within people you were reversing, would you want to keep playing it? Over a while, you would say no. But with all these video games that are coming out, a multiplayer, not single player, single player is a whole different story. Single player is, is I think every single single player game is fair. But multiplayer is completely unfair. Because how can you make it fair? The people during a good game. Everyone's just enjoying it at different times. And sooner or later, it's just it's gonna be a cluster F of just unfairness. Those are my opinions on this whole situation. I understand many people may have different opinions. That's fine. I'm just giving out an idea. I, guess, I kinda just had this in my mind. I'm just like, what do I do with this information? I really wanna know if you think video games are kind of unfair. Multi multiplayer wise it's unfair in general or if they have to be that's kind of my question do multiplayer games have to be unfair that's the only way they can get people addicted to it comment down below um let me go now if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe short little weird video but i'm gonna go now so bye uh, yeah i confess father i confess